Hi guys, thanks for checking out my channel. I appreciate the time that you're taking to watch my content. I'm Tanya and I make budget videos with little tips and tricks that I'm learning along the way. I upload videos two times a week and shorts two times a week. I really started this channel last year to hold myself accountable for my own budget, but I really hope it inspires you to start or continue your own budget journey. So let's get into today's video. In today's video, we're going to be doing week three or January the 17th. I know some of you said you wanted the date. Some of you said you liked the actual week number. So I'm going to do both. We should have $680. So let's count. 100. Move these over some. 100, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, so 220, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, so 170, 5, 10, 15, oh, 5, that 5 is really, whew, not doing so well, okay, sorry, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, so 85, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that equals $680. I apologize in advance if you guys hear a bunch of noise. I cannot believe this is January the 17th and it is storming, like raining, like thunderstorming. <laughs> you know, Christmas, it was like negative one or two or three, something like that. And then it got up to the 60s and then it got cold again and now it's supposed to be in the 70s in January in West Virginia. <laughs> That's crazy. And then this, and then um, by the end of this week, it's supposed to be back down into like, I don't know, 20s again. So it's, you know, Mother Nature just has lost her mind. She doesn't know what she wants to do. <laughs> okay. Let's clean out my wallet. I do have a little bit of money in here. Okay, gas gets $60 as always. I don't know why I don't try to put the nicer ones in the back before I start the video, but you know, I don't. These are all actually kind of pretty nice. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60. Groceries is going to get 100. Again, they're just all nice, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> 100, 20, 40, 60. I get $10. My eating out is going to get $10, so it now has 10, 20, 30. If you guys haven't seen my shorts, I am trying to do a no eating out January and shopping is going to get $10. So 10, 20, 30. So hopefully that restaurant envelope will continue to grow. Okay. So that's all for my wallet. Now let's get into these binders. This is my long term binders. And each one of these today is going to get five dollars. That should now be five, six, seven, eight in each one. These are things that I don't necessarily need right now. Sorry about the tippy paws. It's storming and a couple of my dogs don't like the storm. So <laughs> they're going to come in and 
make sure I'm okay, or maybe they want me to make sure they're okay. I'm not sure. Five, six, seven, eight. So anyway, these in this long-term binder, these are things that I am not necessarily going to need this year, but I know that eventually they're going to be need needing to be replaced. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to start saving up a little by little for them. Five, six, seven, eight. I think last year I had like 12 of my long term, but I just wanted to simplify everything, make it a little bit easier on me. Five, six, seven, eight. So I'm trying to make sure each binder has like six envelopes in them. I think one might have seven, five, six, seven, eight. And then of course the monthly, it has 12 because there's 12 months in a year. <laughs> But other than that, I'm, I tr I'm trying to keep it kind of simple. Five, six, seven, eight. So this binder is done. I'm gonna set it to the side. And let's go with this one. These two, I kind of get confused which is which because I'm still getting used to the color. <laughs> what I'm putting in each one, but this one is my short term, I do believe. This is my short term, which means I'll probably be needing to use this later, I mean sooner rather than later. Like these I know, this binder I know is going to be later, but this is probably going to be sooner rather than later. So... Car maintenance is going to get $10. I think they're all going to get $10. So $10, $20, $30. $5, $6, $7, $8. $5, $6, $7, $8. $5, $6, $7, $8. $5, $6, $7, $8. $5, $6, $7, $8. $5, $6, $7, $8. $5, $6, $7, $8. $5,
so he wouldn't know and it would be a surprise. Giveaway, get, getting 15. Reno's getting 15. Like I said, I think everything in here except for debt is going to be getting 15. 10, 25. Sisters is going to be getting 15. 10, 25. That's just every once in a while my sisters and I get together and I just want to have money ready and available so I don't have to stress out again, wondering where that money is going to come from. <laughs> so that way I'll be prepared. I can't remember. I think it's this one. Yes, let's do this one next. Let me get my pen here so I can do my rollover. Brutus, honey, you're okay. All right, let's see how much we got today. Oh, these are a hot mess. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. $45. Oh my goodness, guys. I think I'm doing really well on this challenge already. Already we have $109 and it's only three weeks in. But now you know, you guys know, there's some days that I'm able to put a lot in and then there's some that I don't put anything in because I've spent all the money. So it just depends. All right, so we should, we should have $109. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $109. That's perfect. That's, I'm excited about that. Okay, my heat here's where my OCD kicks in because it's got two different colors on it, but I'm trying to work through it with you guys. Like, you honestly have no idea how bad this messes with me. But I'm trying to let it go. <laughs> trying very hard. All right, so we should have, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, and 20. 120. I'm just going to cover it up as quick as I can. <laughs> Just hurry up and cover that up so I don't have to see it. But I know it's still there. But it's okay. It's okay. That's what I'm telling myself. One month ahead gets $25 every single week. This is just money that I want to, at the end of the year, be able to go ahead and pay. My goal is to pay two bills one month ahead at the end of the year. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I'm hoping I can. Is this going to be enough to pay all my bills one month ahead by the end of this year? No, but every little bit helps. So even if I can get one or two bills paid up a month ahead and then next year work on a couple more, I think I only have like, I want to say seven bills a month. So, you know, if I can get a couple every year it won't take but a few, couple years before I'm completely one month ahead which is my goal <laughs> 20 40 60 575 it just takes the pressure off if something was to happen and one of us wasn't able to work and get our paychecks then I have the one month ahead I can fall back on. I have the emergency I can fall back on. I have the savings I can fall back on. And I have my pay cushion I can fall back on. Also my bank cushion. So I'm trying to just get it prepared. I'm just trying to get us to a place where we are not living paycheck to paycheck. And if something were to happen and either one of us needed to take time off for whatever reason, it wouldn't be a burden. Because obviously whatever's going on is going to be burden enough. I don't want to add that onto it. 20, 40, 65, 75. So that's just, I'm not a doomsdayer or anything, but 
life happens. I, you, <laughs> you know that from last year. <laughs> life happens. So I'm just trying to prepare as much as I can. So life insurance gets $12. And I need to take it out, Tanya, and color it in. There's 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. $36. Also, if you guys haven't been watching my shorts, I've given you a lot of, not a lot, I've given you a few <laughs> insider tips and tricks and things that are free right now that you usually have to pay for. So make sure you check out my shorts. I would tell you what it is, but honestly, <laughs> In all reality, I don't remember the link off the top of my head. <laughs> That's why I'm just telling you to go check out my shorts. If I would have thought ahead and prepared, I would have wrote it down so I'd have it right here with me. But I just wanted to throw that out there. It's the beginning of the year, you know. People are trying to get their budgets in order. So 20, 40, 65, 75. That's my pay cushion I was talking about. I feel like I'm just rambling today. Oh well, you'll have days like that. Savings also gets $25. This binder, I could, I just consider my extra savings binder. Um, 20, 40, 65, 75, I don't know. Maybe I could come up with cute little names next year for them. Oh, it's the beginning of the year. Maybe I can come up with cute little names for them this year. Who knows? Okay, that one is done now. This one, which is my monthly savings challenges that I made up, printed up on my computer that you guys feel free to screenshot and use if you want. Today we are going to do a 50, a 10, and a five. So here's the 50. Here is, let's do this 10. Try to space them out so that one whole side is not colored in at the, <laughs> at the beginning. And then we have the other side to go. And then huh, we'll do this five. Okay. You guys know how much I like coffee. That's why I did January in a bunch of coffee because I figured it was going to be cold. I wasn't expecting it to be 70 degrees out. <laughs> That's fine. Before you know it, it'll be cold again and snow will be blowing. And so we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95. So 195. I think every month, by the time the month is over, I think we should have like 100, no, $260 for every month. I think is how... I figured that out. Not 100% sure, but I think. Okay. Excuse me. Now on to my 52-week challenges. Again, this is the 52-week challenge. You number your envelopes 1 through 52. And you put in that amount every week. Week 1, I put in $1. Week 2, I put in $2. But I'm doing it forward and backwards. So I'm basically doing the challenge twice. It equals out to $53 a week. It just depends on how, what envelope it is, what denominations you need. So for today, I need $3 for this one. So we have one, two, three. I made these envelopes super easy to do. So now I have the three. I'm gonna make sure that the money is facing me and I'm gonna put it backwards right here so I know that these are done. And now this one is a 50. going to slide that money in. Voila. 
voila, it is done. I'm going to put this in the back so I know that these three are done. And there you go. And I forgot to empty my change, so I better go ahead and do that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to empty my change out of my wallet. There you go. Now we're done. Well, guys, that's the end of today's video. Again, thank you so much for watching. As always, feel free to like, comment, and share my videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button. I'll see you next time, and until then, be safe and have a great day.